Ladies and gentlemen, she said yes! Round of applause for the new couple. And today's video is going to be about my proposal, um, as well as like a little story time of how we got to where we are right now. Um, so, do you want to introduce yourself? What's up guys? <laughs> my name is Saeed, and I'm here to talk about my side of things. And I guess how the proposal went down? Yeah, so basically how it went down. So we can we just kind of start there, like, when did you start planning? Um, what um, made you decide to do it how you did? Let's see, I probably started planning a while ago. Probably say sometime in 2020, because, you know, you of course you had to buy the ring. That is the main part of the proposal. And from July to, like, December is just planning, figuring out how and how I wanted to do it. Um, because of COVID-19, plans kept changing. I mean, it's already done. You, you only get one proposal, so. Right. <laughs> the other, other ways I was thinking of doing it was... Uh, had my little party indoors somewhere with a bunch of people, but then you know, because COVID restrictions, you can't yeah. have people, so that was X'd out. Uh, the next other option was we went on St. Thomas, you can check that video up right here. <laughs> and in that video, I was thinking of doing it then, but then I was like, Oh, in St. Thomas, one, I didn't know the restaurants because I couldn't book anything ahead of time in St. Thomas right. again because of COVID. So I was like, All right, I didn't want to plan something in St. Thomas, setting up and everything there, and also like. There was nobody in St. Thomas, like none of my family or friends True. have been there either. True. Which was important to me. I could have got so many people to St. Thomas. Really? Yeah, but if I went to St. Thomas, how would I justify, oh, I'm about to go somewhere to go do something. You know, like, <laughs> already hit to what's going on. Right, you... I would have known because, like, you can't keep surprises for me. Well, this was, this was definitely a surprise. Like, I had little hints here and there, but I definitely was not expecting this at all. Right, nah, not at all. And then literally, probably like, I'd probably say January, I was brainstorming my coworkers, actually. And um, they was coming up with ideas, coming up with ideas, and then I was just Googling ideas also. And then I was like, oh, I can do New York City. Dun, dun, dun. All your friends are there, so it's easier. Oh, wow. um, it would have been harder for my family to get there, but like I said, it's COVID, so. Yeah. My family was already cool with. And then I was like, oh, I could just do a Zoom for my family. So I did, that's how the Zoom idea came out. Okay. But I was like, oh, I like Rockwell Center. I think because I've seen it. That's a key spot. Yeah. yeah. I think because yeah. I've seen it so many, so many in like movies and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, Rockefeller's, Rockefeller Center would be lit. Um, so then, yeah, I Googled Rockefeller Center. I emailed them. This is probably around January. Yeah. About middle of January. Middle of January. So I was thinking of Rockefeller Center and I was like, oh, let's do it on Valentine's Day. Da -da -da. Kill two birds with one stone. But. That would have been a bad idea. I th but either, yeah. If Honestly, I sorry, but I just don't like when like holidays are shared with like something else. Like if, like when someone proposes to someone on their birthday or something, I just don't, I feel like that's just not. Yeah, so it's not as special. So I knew that going into it, of course. So yeah, I got Google Rockefeller Center, um, sent them an email, and it was, for some reason, I'm guessing because of COVID, Rockefeller Center closed early this really? year in like January. I emailed Brian Park, and then our guy Fred. Who's Fred? Fred? Uh, he was the guy that helped me. Oh like, yeah, set up Fred. Everything. He was so nice. Um, the guy Brian Park. He, he, he <laughs> needs Fred. Fred's a great guy. Um, but yeah. And then that's how Brian Park came about. I actually didn't know any of what he just said. Like, that's surprising to me that you were starting so early. Yep, yep, yep. Out. So before we get into our story and kind of how the proposal went, how he surprised me, um, and how my friends surprised me as well, we're just going to talk about um, our nikah and kind of how we decided to do things. So the traditional route is usually like you get engaged, you get proposed to, and then you have a nikai or like you have a bigger wedding. Um, and for us, we didn't go that route. Um, we actually decided to do the nikai first and then the proposal came afterwards. And I know a lot of people were confused like, oh my God, are you married? Are you not? 
yeah, we're married. Um, we just decided to do it in a more non-traditional way. But there's many non-traditional ways that people get married, especially like in Islam. Um, some girls have their bridal shower first, and then they ha then they get proposed to, and then they have a nikai. True, true, some true. girls have the nikai, already know that they want to get married. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's many different ways that people um, go about doing things, and the whole point of me saying this and us sharing that is just to let you guys know that there's no like correct way I would say on how to do that to go about doing that um and I know plenty of people that have done Nikai's first and then got their rings later and decided to do a bigger wedding later and that's you know totally fine my my concern was with uh like the ring because in the beginning I was like oh I had a couple like financial goals I wanted to achieve for myself and I didn't want to get you some Rinky dink ring. So <laughs> right. show the people, show the people. There you go. Yep. It's <laughs> so yeah, so I didn't want to get you a little rinky dink ring, but I, was right. like, I had a couple financial goals that I wanted to achieve first. Uh, mainly one getting a house that I could do YouTube videos in. So, right. but then like it also makes sense, right? Because it's like we didn't know COVID was gonna happen, so if True. we didn't do Nikah, then that would have restricted us from having the relationship that we wanted to have. A lot of factors, like my dad wouldn't have been able to come, like because of COVID, like he wouldn't have been able to be a part of that, and a lot of things would have gotten delayed just for the fact that, like, oh, there was no ring. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the most important part to us was making sure that, obviously, that we were doing it in a halal way, and that other people were able to be a part of it, and. If we waited past yeah. January, like literally, we would have had like, right. I don't know, maybe something on Zoom or like we would have delayed it even more. True. We probably wouldn't have Zoom because I don't think Zoom became a thing during COVID to like. Yeah, like way like later. Like May. Exactly. <laughs> May. May, June. I feel like life, it should be Zoom, like as an option. <laughs> so that's how we came with the uh, whole Nakai. Yeah. And. For those of you that might be wanting to go untraditional route, if you want to do Nikai first, you know, just choose what's best for you as well as your your spouse. Right. I think that's very important. So now, um, so he's gonna tell you guys Fast about forward. how he surprised me and how my friend surprised me, and we'll kind of go off that. Right. Uh, so fast forward now. Uh, you bought it? Yeah, a year later. Since yeah. Nikai. Um. So yeah. So like I said, like so we got to Bryant Park. That was the set location it was going down i talked to fred before i talked to any of her friends and fred was like oh yeah we got it all worked out wow i already came up with the photo shoot idea because wait so that was your idea yeah yeah because you do photo shoots all the time that's true so it would have been easy just that's to like true. that's how they so got me guys because literally i'm like a photo shoot like i didn't think anything of it i'm just like oh yeah like i always do um photo shoots with my friend siri for her brand called their little prince and when she when she was like, oh, we're going to do a photo shoot, I'm just like, okay, like, cool, what do you want me to wear, you know, like, I'm excited, like, because I love taking pictures and stuff like that, so I wasn't expecting, like, oh, like. Yeah, so I figured a photo shoot would be the easiest idea. So we hit up, I hit up two of your friends, Siri and Blue Keys. We were just texting back and forth for about a, I guess a over, a, yeah, over a month before, yeah, before wow. we went on uh, to St. Thomas. So yeah, they were, like, coordinating the whole photo shoot idea, that was awesome and go but the last part of the whole proposal was the issue was uh what we we're gonna do afterwards so i didn't want it to like have all the people come out um and we don't do anything right. so that's when the whole rest spend. right so that's when the whole restaurant um idea came about um but the problem with the restaurant covid limited capacity so i couldn't invite everyone to the restaurant um so basically i just invited your close friends and what, one of my friends the only one of my friends was there okay. That was good. Yep, that was yep, a good yep. idea. It was nice though. It was Yeah, yeah, no, it was lit. You did an amazing job. Yeah, it was fine. And I was totally surprised, guys. The date was already set. The flyers are already done. Okay. Sent it out to everybody on Instagram. Because of course I don't have all your family's phone numbers. Yeah, no, everyone's really nice. got Instagram. So I sent out the flyer on Instagram. So then we did that and then um and then the next major thing was your nails. I know you don't like to do your nails. Yeah, I don't. So he's like, hey, are you getting your nails done? And I couldn't really convince you on getting your nails done because uh, you kept asking some questions. But literally, guys, I already had my nails done for um, my Thomas. birthday. 
So I was gonna redo them anyway because they had broke, like one of them had broke. Um, but he just kept asking about it. So that was a little inkling that I kind of had that was like, okay, why does he keep asking about my nails? I still didn't put, you know, one and two together that uh, it was a proposal, but I did know like, okay, that's kind of weird because you don't ever tell me nothing about True. my nails. Um, and then I ended up just getting them done. Yep. So then that went down. So the nails were set in stone. <laughs> we're good. And then the haircut. So I had to get a haircut before. That's why you gotta be fresh. You know, I had a haircut That's before so uh, we went to St. Thomas was what, a week ago? But I was like, I gotta get it again. So then the night I was gonna haircut, they were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was like, oh, I was on the front. I was on the phone with Groove for like two hours. <laughs> Which me, Groove? He about was that annoying me because he was literally not like answering his phone. I'm just like, why are you not answering? No. Meanwhile, he's getting the haircut. No I mean, haircut. you could have told me you was getting a haircut. I wouldn't have thought anything, honestly. I don't think so. I, I, I don't ever get my haircut a week. You should, you right. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm um, that's too funny. So, that's how the haircut went down. And then the day of, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm coming to pick up in New York. But, eh, I was being lazy. I was like, yeah, I'll be there like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Which proposal's going out at 6 p.m. So did you have an idea when I actually left? I think now that I'm like it happened and I'm going back and thinking about it, you literally were saying like, oh, I just left. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to get gas. And then you're like, oh, this, that. And I'm just like, what are you doing? I'm getting my car, <laughs> I'm getting my car washed, which I didn't get my car washed. <laughs> but I actually left like, I left 12 o'clock. Yeah, I left Philly 12 o'clock. Go to New York, and because I left, I left so early because I had to pick up our photographer. Yeah, Mark is amazing. He's done a lot of different shoots for us um, in the past, and he's just he's a phenomenal photographer. Yeah, so I had to pick him up early. Mark got to the Bryan Park early because we were still want to do a final run through like beforehand. Mm -hmm. Um, so Mark got to the park early before you came there, and um, yeah, we were there probably like an hour before you got there. Really. And then, I mind you, I'm not nervous at all yet. Everyone's like, oh, you nervous? But, nah, I got this in the bag. <laughs> and then, uh, so yeah, you're on your, so you're on your skating photo shoot. Yeah, so I'm over here out skating. And mind you guys, I do not know how to skate. So <laughs> like, I don't know how to skate. So Billy Keys and Siri were like kind of helping me skate and stuff like that. Get used to the, you know, the ice and everything. And then we finally go out on the ice when it's our turn. And I'm like, okay, like I can do the shot. So they kind of had me where I was angled towards like one side of the Bryant Park so that I couldn't see what was behind me. And then you can tell them how you kind of like Snuck. came up on me. Yep. <laughs> and then, um, so Fred also said that in between skate sessions is when people do proposals. Oh. So that's why everyone got off the ice. I think he told you, oh, you can have a private skate. Yeah. <laughs> I really skate. thought, okay, I really thought my friend Siri booked that time. So I'm like, yo, we need to have this time. Like, we need to make use of this time for her, you know? Nope. Like, every minute of it. Nope. I didn't know. That. Yeah, so I, I, you did have to book it. So I booked uh, the whole VIP section or whatever. Which, honestly, if we're going to skate in Brown Park again, we're going to do VIP. Yeah, we had a whole warm. room yeah. where we could be warm and change and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And usually I can have more people, but it can cause it's COVID. Can have that many people in the uh in, in the VIP. Mm -hmm. But uh so yeah, so yeah, so in between skate sections is when he said, Oh yeah, go out and have your private photo shoot section. And we done booked out <laughs> Brian Park. Um so I really thought that. Like I literally really thought that. So she's over here trying to pull this on the ice. I'm over here sneaking behind you. Mind you, I'm fresh. And this and one, when he was sneaking, I didn't even hear him because it was so loud in Bryant Park. Yeah. I don't know what was making it loud. I, I don't, I don't know, but it was loud. Like I didn't even, even though I can't see guys because I'm blind. Like if I don't have my glasses on, I cannot see anything. But literally, I did not even hear or see you coming up. Nah, no. like that. And that's when I got nervous because I said before this, I'm a confident person. But I got nervous because <laughs> it's a giant ice skating rink. Right? Yeah, it's With huge. all her friends outside in the dark. Yeah, skating. a few people were skating. Yeah. Oh, did you see them? I didn't see, oh, them, didn't see them, but yeah, they a few people me were after. skating. Um, wow, she was skating. But yeah, so uh, I was creeping up on the ice. I'm like, yo, this would be the if you if you're gonna fall in public, this would be the worst time to fall because oh, like it's God. the entire skating. Rink. Well, you know how to skate. I did, but I was fresh. I had some yeah, nice pants. I had a nice jacket. Yo, if he fell, guys, I would have been weak. Yo, 
I would have been crying. That would have been too. Funny. Actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind it. It'd have been a great uh, blooper. Yeah, it would have. So he's coming up behind me and stuff like that, and when I see him, I'm confused. Like I even have a picture which we'll insert it somewhere here, where I was literally confused. I'm like, what are you doing here? I literally said that. I said, what are you doing here? Like it's not time yet because mind you, I'm thinking Siri booked this place for 30 minutes. So I'm like, okay, we have to use all the time we possibly can, and he's here too early to pick me up. So I'm like, what are you doing here? And then he's like, I love you. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's when I was like, wait, I didn't think about how I'm gonna get down. So we're getting, we're getting, I'm getting down on one knee on the ice, stumbling. And I'm just like, it's Yo, okay. Rock wall. It's crazy. I but held you kind of, so you didn't fall. You did, you did. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so that's how it went down. Yeah. And it was, huh. If I could do it again, though, I, I know where I made my mistakes on. You didn't make any mistakes, to you. It happened the way that it was supposed to. The biggest mistake, I left my mask on when taking pictures. I was like, ugh. Well, like the first, probably like the first few, but Yeah, the first few. I, I was so mad. I was like, oh, I left my mask on. Luckily, it was a black mask, and I was wearing like a black jacket. So I, it was kind of kind of fly. But if I had a hospital mask, I would have been like... But we got so many great pictures um, that Mark took. Yep. And it was beautiful, baby. You did such a great job. I'm glad you like it. So yeah, so that was how I planned the proposal. Put together a little video. Yes, of some clips of our proposal that we would like to share with you guys as well as some pictures. So I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Photo shoot ready. Excited, excited. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 